hello everyone welcome back to another video in today's video this is going to be part two of the mammography registry review questions um, this is going to be practice questions 16 through 30. i have practice questions 1 through 15. Um, in a previous video i tried to remember to link it at the end of this video but if not um, you can go to my mammography registry review playlist because on my page I have registry review questions for CT and MRI and I also do lifestyle videos on my page as well. And then this is just the content specifications for what will be on the exam, how many questions. This is ART because I am licensed through ART, but you can use this for any board exam, like these questions, you can use it for any board exam, but just for this content, I'm following ART guidelines. As you can see under physics, there will be about 30 questions. So what I like to do is whenever I'm doing these PowerPoint presentation. I like to read the questions, the answers, the explanation, if this is your first time watching it. And that's because a lot of people, sometimes they're not in front of their computer. They're cleaning up. I've gotten comments saying, thank you for reading it out because I'm cleaning up in the background and I can just play you in the background and still listen. You know, some people may be working out and they can't have a book in front of them and they like that audio. But if the talking bothers you, you can always just mute the sound or mute the audio or turn it down. All right, so this is question 16. Remember that I already have question one through 15 on a previous video. Um, a lot of you all gave the video a thumbs up for me to make more, so I'm making more. So for question 16, a sheet of lead strips with a series of narrow interspace material is called and I'll give you a few seconds and then I'll tell you the answer. A grid. Grids are a sheet of lead strips that has a series of narrow interspace material. The material is usually made out of lead, nickel, or aluminum. So um, I always tell people, not only do you need to focus on the question and the answer also pay attention to what i'm giving you in the explanation as well because you know it may be act similar to what i have in the explanation question 17 all of the following are true regarding the use of grids in mammography itself decrease scatter radiation improve contrast results in less radiation dose to the patient or results in more radiation dose to the patient. So which one of these is not true? And if I'm going too fast, you can always just pause the video if you need more time to think. What, um, answer C, it results in less radiation dose to the patient. So that answer is the one that is not true. So in mammography, grids are used to improve radiographic contrast. This happens by decreasing the amount of scattered radiation that will reach the image receptor. The use of grids will result in more radiation dose to the patient. So the reason why that answer we chose that answer because it's saying results in less radiation dose to the patient. That's not true. It results in more radiation dose to the patient. So if you need to go back and read that question, you can just to see why the answer is this. What is the recommended seed range in mammography? Is it 20 to 50 centimeters, 30 to 60 centimeters, 50 to 80 centimeters? or 90 to 120 centimeters. Fifty to eighty centimeters. So um if you remember source to image receptor distance is also known as SID. The mammography machine I work on is set at 70 centimeters 
And the way you can tell is whenever you are looking at your mammography machine, look up high, depending on what machine you're, you're using. I'm using Hologic. So if you're if you can see the compression plate and the detector and the face shield, look above the face shield up a little bit higher and it'll show you what centimeters your SID is at. Question 19, blank refers to the distance from the x-ray source to the image plate. Is this focal spot size, grid, object to image receptor distance or OID, source to image receptor distance or SID? It would be source to image receptor distance. SID is the distance from the x-ray source to the image plate. Question 20, what is used to reduce unsharpness in mammography when a short source to image receptor distance, which is SID, is used? Is it decreased mass, increased KVP, large focal spot size, or a small focal spot size. A small focal spot size is the answer. So a small focal spot size is used to reduce unsharpness and to make up for the short source to image receptor distance, which is known as SID. Question 21. Blank is the distance of the object or body part from the image receptor. Is it focal spot size, grid, object to image receptor distance, which is known as OID, or source to image receptor distance, which is known as SID? Object to image receptor distance or OID is the answer. Question 22, why is magnification used in mammography? Is it to reduce patient radiation dose, to produce an image with higher contrast, to evaluate macro calcifications, or to evaluate small lesions or micro calcifications? The correct answer is D, to evaluate small lesions or micro calcifications. So whenever a patient come in for a screening mammogram, let's just say they come in, they don't have any problems, and then their results come in and they have micro calcifications seen in their breast. And this could be the first time that this has been shown on their breast. And what's going to happen is they are going to get scheduled for a diagnostic mammogram and then you will have to take images with the magnification stand and the magnification paddle to see those calcifications. So um, let me know if you all are um, comfortable with doing diagnostic mammograms. Do your facility let you do them? Are you um, on a rotation schedule where you do screenings one day, um, diagnostic another day? Some people, you know, some techs do screening and diagnostic in the same day, depending on what facility you work at, if you're PRN or temporary, you may not have to do any diagnostic mammogram or diagnostic mammograms, one of your struggles. So just let me know in the comments. How is scatter radiation reduced in mammography when magnification is used? This is question 23. And this is what I was telling you about uh, with the magnification stand and magnification paddle when a patient has to come in for a diagnostic mammogram for calcs. Question 23 again, how is scatter radiation reduced in mammography when magnification is used? You can also use this picture as a guide if you want to. Um, does it use a large OID? Use a small OID? Use a large SID? Or use a small SID?
It uses a large OID. A large OID is used as an air gap technique to reduce scatter to the detector in mammography when magnification is used. Question 24. Which focal spot size is commonly used for routine work in mammography? 0.4 millimeters, 0.5 millimeters, 0.6 millimeters, 0.7 millimeters. Point four millimeters. Question 25. What is the most commonly used focal spot size in mammography? Is it 0 0.3 millimeters, 0 0.5 millimeters, 0 0.8 millimeters, or 0 0.9 millimeters? 0.3 millimeters. Question 26. What is the most common used focal spot size in magnification? So just whenever you're taking your registry, pay attention to what the question is asking you. Don't just look at common focal spot size and just run to the answer. Uh, pay attention to how the question is worded. So is it 0.1 millimeter, 0.2 millimeter, 0.3 millimeters or 0.4 millimeters. 0.1 millimeter. Question 27. This is a true and false question that I decided to throw in. A grid is never used in magnification mammography. Is this question true or false? It's true. So magnification mammography does not use a grid. It has a large OID or object to image receptor distance, which is going to serve as an air gap technique. This is going to help reduce the scatter radiation. A grid will increase the radiation dose to the patient. Question 28. What is the resolution and mammography measured in? Automatic exposure control or AEC, KVP, line pairs per millimeter, or mass. Line pairs per millimeter. Resolution is the ability to image two separate objects in order to be able to distinguish them from the other. Resolution is measured in line pairs per millimeter. Pay attention to certain vocabulary words, especially um, ones that you get confused with. Question 29, the ability to image small objects that have a high subject contrast is called contrast resolution, KVP, pixel, or spatial resolution. Spatial resolution. So an example of a small object would be micro classifications. Those are very tiny. In question 30, the ability to distinguish anatomical structures of similar subject contrast is called contrast resolution, KVP, pixel, or spatial resolution. Contrast resolution. All right, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you don't mind supporting the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you found this video helpful as well. You can also leave a comment if you want me to make more videos like this. Um, if you want to, you can also feel free to subscribe for more videos. But other than that, this is it. Um, like I said, if you want more review questions and answers, let me know. Thumbing up the video lets me know that if you found it helpful. 
um, or if you're enjoying the contest. So thank you all for watching and I will stay tuned for your comments to see if you would like more videos like this. And good luck and bye.